Dwindle, I can do it. Okay, Dwindle, make the title. Um, showing my girlfriend my culture. Australian flag emoji. Going to Outback Steakhouse. <laughs> it's okay if you can't do the emoji. Showing, showing my girlfriend my culture. Outback Steakhouse. Going to Outback Steakhouse. YouTube video, The Truth About HelloFresh. Yeah, Dwindle, maybe you can copy that Australian flag if you're on the computer. Done. Showing my girlfriend my culture, going to Outback Steakhouse. Fantastic, thank you, Dwindle. And the ad just finished right now, right? Have a Foster's? You want a Foster's? Foster's Freeze? Foster's Beer. Last time I went to Outback, I got a Foster's. Yeah, in the video. Yeah, it's in a giant can. Yeah, oil can, they call it. If you sign up to Outback Rewards, you get a free Bloomin' Onion. Really? Really? Bloomin' Onion's like a hundred bucks. And we could have been collecting points from all the times you've well, gone. Well, the only times I go is to film it. I went once yeah. with Janice, once with Aaron Kyra and Gabriel Cruz. Now I go again yeah, with Janice. and you could have earned points on all those. Five dollars to rename the video with an eggplant emoji. I'll throw in another five. <laughs> the power. They're, they're putting you to the test, Dwindle. What are you gonna do? I'll put five on that. Uh-oh, we got 15 on the line? I feel like I shouldn't weigh in if I want it or not. <laughs> Who gets the money, Dwindle, for changing it? <laughs> How are they gonna give it to him? <laughs> That's what he should start doing, like secretly taking money from people to like slip emojis into the titles. Were you shocked by the experience at Outback compared to real Australian food? My question for you, what is real clean Australian water, is what is Australian food? Wow, well, baby, we think the same. Our brains are so connected. <laughs> I don't even know what Australian food is. Shrimp on the barbie is not necessarily Australian food. It's kind of like a myth, to be honest. Where did you go from? Where did you go? Where did you go? Kangaroo brains. Because it's illegal in California, right? No. I thought there's this weird rule that kangaroo meat is extremely illegal in California. Someone maybe can fact check. I'm pretty sure there was some kind of weird rule. In Australia, eating kangaroo is actually pretty common. Deep fried kookaburra? No, you can't. In Australia, the rules is um, any native animals cannot be like farmed. Native? Yeah, but the, 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 what I said is they can't be like farmed and raised for meat. But kangaroos aren't farmed and raised for meat. They are um, pests. And then the people kill them as pests. Check the title. I actually can't see the whole title because it's on the phone. Yeah, I get dot dot dot. Maybe I can go on the browser. Oh, there we go. Showing my girlfriend. My culture, going to Outback Steakhouse, kangaroo, Australian flag, steak and eggplant. Great work, Dwindle. You passed the test. <laughs> I'll pay for that. Cash app or Venmo? Uh -huh. Let's go. Who's getting paid? You we got paid. eggplant. <laughs> I mean, Dwindle can get paid. <laughs> Great title, I agree. We need a peach emoji. I'm ordering Outback now. No, you are not. Mitch too nah, that's too nah. I call cap as well. Where did you go? Okay, you should tell them about my idea of uh, what I said about like streaming wedding and wedding reception. What? You want to paywall a wedding? Yeah. Why? If you're not Don't you just want to get married IRL? I want to get married IRL with my friends and families, but if somebody wants to watch, they can pay to watch it. 
But isn't the people that you want to watch getting invited? Yeah, but people on the internet, if they want to watch, they can see to watch. And then this was my concept. This is, I think, the part that's really clever, is that for the reception, like, you can just be at the, like, regular tier, like, nine ninety nine, just to, like, be, be like, <laughs> Whoa, what's up? I don't need to watch out. He needs to watch out. Yeah, but he does. Then, but then you can get, like, the premium, where for, like, <laughs> Uh-oh, Salvation Army tipped five dollars. So glad we left that place. Peach aubergine. So then, Uh-oh. then you get. That. Mike tipped five dollars. Twindle did it. <laughs> so then, thanks, guys. So then for uh, like forty nine ninety nine, it would be set up that we would arrange like food delivery to your address during the reception so like when they come out and serve whenever all the tables get their food and are eating food you also get food like delivered to your door so you get to like eat at the same time as reception like isn't that sick like, you've thought like about this i i mentioned it to you like years ago i didn't like, really like the idea of a paywalled wedding but i think it's cool i think it becomes a pay-per-view event you can pay to but, watch it so, and then you can pay extra to get like food delivered instead of living in the moment enjoying marrying the person you love you want to do business work? I wouldn't be working on any of the business. The cameras will just be set up around stationary. They'd be set up around stationary. But it's like you're selling your your happiest day of your life as content or whatever. Yeah. You want to sell it like that? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Janice can have microtransactions at a wedding. <laughs> if you would like a fog, please tip you know, $1 you now. Just, then you can do song requests for like three ninety nine. You can request a song. Chocolate Shake tipped five dollars. Thank you, Chocolate Shake. The three, uh, what is it called? Pledges on the <laughs> on the eggplant. Should we should we do something nice for Dwindle though? Wedding will die if you try to paywall it. Lol. But like, cause the thing is that it's already like the people that I want to watch are there, and then if other people who weren't invited want to watch, they can pay to join. The eggplant bribers. A stream event. By Dwindle Boba, yeah. Dwindle, DM me on uh, Discord. Your I only have Venmo, Venmo or PayPal. But see, like, I think I think the doing doing the like reception with like like having like food show up so it's like interactive i think that's super sick like let's say we're gonna have like chicken or steak or whatever you like when you sign up for the 49.99 you select your chicken or steak and then we have it's like set up through you know uber eats or whatever that gets delivered to your house and like is that wouldn't that be cool if you're watching on screen like you're watching a video of a party and food shows up and then ding 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 food shows up at your door too like isn't that sick like that's I mean the that's future. that's a cool idea, but I feel like for maybe a fight or something would be fun. Before a wedding, I don't know. Dwindle says, "I'm good. You got it. Thank you, Dwindle." And then Billy says, "Dwindle, please give us your social security number and address, and we will do that." And mother's maiden name. Use Dwindle's artwork and have a little Dwindle signature on it. Easter egg. That is legit top tier idea for your family and friends, but I don't know about the general public. No, but like family and friends, I'm not gonna charge them to come. <laughs> I'll take a show when you make them. Yeah, for sure, Dwindle. Okay, deal. Sometimes wedding turn into fights. It sounds like a logistical nightmare, agree. What's my brother na- maiden name? Bet you missed the house you grew up in. What was it? What color Remember was your first you? pet's name? What was your first car? What was your okay. first girlfriend's so, okay. name? What about instead of pay-per-view? Stream the wedding with TTS. What if, there's, what if there's free access to watch? But we ask that they buy something off the gift register. Okay, what about this? You say like, hey, please buy something from the gift from The registry. What's it called? The officiant. The officiant has a mic, right? The TTS goes directly into the officiant's nope. mic. Absolutely how, not. how much are we charging? Absolutely not. Hundy bucks? $4,000. 4K to say, Ricky, do you... And then it goes, Meh. eggplant, eggplant, eggplant. Peach, peach. 4,000? That low? Because I don't think anyone would actually do it. <laughs> Why me for 4,000 though? $5 TTS. No. Nope. Hypothetically, if I hypothetically pay for a wedding, then I want a refund after the hypothetical divorce. True that. 
how many no it's like when you buy a toaster two year two year warranty if it gets annulled you get the money back yeah you always wonder about that like man when you buy someone <clears> a wedding gift and then they like split up right away you're like dang I mean, live vegas not- wedding meetup yeah, meet and greet <laughs> Wedding meet and greet with CCS on. You did this. You started this conversation. I think live stream wedding is bad. I think enjoy the moment for what it is. Film a film a video or whatever. I'm not, the wedding filmer can do that. That's the thing. If you're going to film a video of the wedding, why don't you just play live? Because live, we're trying to enjoy the moment live. Yeah, we would enjoy the moment. We'd have nothing to do with but the But don't you think screen. it should be private? I don't mind other <laughs> I'm gonna put in all the work. Mitch to Nar sub for one month. Thank you, Mitch to Nar with the spend, Prime. You are now invited to the wedding. TTS is twenty dollars efficient. If I'm gonna spend like fifteen thousand dollars on a wedding, fast wedding why not swatted. Have more people see it. We got a wedding gone wrong. I want maximum people to see it and to help offset the costs of such an expensive wedding. Expensive? Yeah, it feels been like Isn't $1, it thousand dollars on wedding. Yeah. I mean. We just roll up to the courthouse. It's like two bucks of no. gas. A couple of shirts from Goodwill. I'm talking about a hypothetical wedding anyways. I'm not talking about a wedding with you. I'm just talking about a wedding. Is Janice's dad going to pay for the wedding? I, I mean, I don't know, but I would think so. But who knows? There is no scheduled wedding, right, as of this moment. I want to be the fake bride that Ricky takes the thing off my thigh. Yeah, what is it called? A garter? Yeah. You got yours on now? No. Look, I have your favorite. I like Denny's more. Really? Yeah. Why do we always go to IHOP? Go to the courthouse and spend money on the honeymoon. Or we could go to the courthouse and we could buy some sick limited Supreme t-shirts for $2,000 each. No. You don't want to do that? No. We could buy 10 of them. No, ma'am. We could do a giveaway. 10 Supreme t-shirts. Let's drive Uber. Let's cosplay as regular. Let's cosplay as normies and drive Uber until we can buy a Supreme T-shirt and then donate it to Goodwill. That's a good idea. Now we're cooking. Stream doesn't end until I make a thousand dollars from Uber and buy thousand dollar T-shirt. Finally, I've you're making sense. I've been directly into the sun this entire time. It's been so That's scary. such a good idea, but in, instead of instead of like an, a pointless thousand dollar t-shirt, it should be just like ten skateboards or something. Ricky's YouTube comment voice again. Yeah, and see how it was loud. That's the caps. I think Ricky, that's the capital walk. The Uber Eats app forces you to take a break if you've been on for eight hours. Yeah, I, it's stream ends. It's not Uber streak. It's stream ends when I make this money, yeah. not not Ubering for 50 hours straight. Yeah, but so. But I can Uber for eight hours, then take the whatever five hour break, and then Uber for eight hours again. Yeah. Okay. I, I think it's more than eight. I think it's like 12. Or I think it's like you can't be live on the thing for more than however many hours within a 24 hour period. Have gifted hater officiate the wedding? I no. can't believe gifted hater like roasted you for literally like buying and giving it to them. I know, like, when you, that's what, that's what I thought about his thing. I thought Gifted Hater was having fun with it, and he was saying some outlandish stuff, because that's his whole thing. But then to see the comments mimicking the outlandish stuff, I was like, wow, they kind of, like, didn't really get that he was, like, kind of kidding. You know, that's, that's sort of how I felt a little bit from the comments of that. But I agree, objectively, I worked for five hours. Like, yeah, it's content. Yeah, I made a YouTube video. Yeah, the YouTube video is sponsored by the e-bike. But like, I don't. I did this one two times before, and it wasn't sponsored. It was just for, to do it, you but know. But like, how are you supposed to? How are you supposed to go buy a skateboard? Like, you need to earn the money to buy it. You have to earn it somehow. Like, do these commenters think you just have a stack of skateboards? Well, that's like that's what we were saying. They saying he's cosplaying as a normie. I'm like, if I'm not a normie, what the fuck am I? Rich and famous. Yeah, like, it's not <laughs> like you just have a stack. Of I I agree with that. I was like, I objectively, like. Whatever my intention is, yeah, it's content or whatever, but like objectively I did a nice thing. At the very least, it's like at least kind of nice, you know, give a board to a little kid. It's like, are you really going to criticize me for that? Because their thing is they're saying, yeah, you should just give boards to kids anyway. Do you think one of the single negative commenters has ever given a brand new board away to a kid? I think absolutely not. I think zero. And like, yeah. I've given away a lot of boards, a lot of them I got for free, but those ones I didn't. Those ones I worked five hours. Five hours is a long time. 
No, Richard Faber's just notable skater. Exactly. Exactly. The guy comes up to me, yo, you kill it, brother. Thank you. And That's notable skater and right you there. Know what? Even like the pro <laughs> skaters aren't walking around giving out new decks to people. They're giving out their skated decks. They've already skated the deck. And they but go, I mean, oh, yeah, I'm not pro skater anymore. at Stoner Park doesn't even talk to the little girl. Yeah. Doesn't even talk, make eye contact with the young skater kid. They just say, oh, I'm so cool. I got to practice my kickflip front crook shows. And like what I'm saying, like if they do give a board, it's not a new board. They're giving a board they've already skated and they're just setting up a new one. It's like, ah, I don't need this one anymore. And they get rid of it by giving them something like. Yeah. No one's going around giving out new boards to people. So there's like no space to criticize you. Like, in any direction for it. Remember when you made that kid ollie the stairs and break his butt in Texas what so you can give him a new board? Oh, we have arrived. Yeah, that guy, he broke his board and then he said, bro, it's my birthday today. This I got this today for my birthday. And then I was like, okay, we can't let that slide. I gotta give him my board. But I, that one, I was a little hesitant because I didn't have many boards. I was on the trip and I didn't have many left, but I was like, damn, I think I gotta give it to him. I gave one to Maya, one to him. I think I only had one left. And I was like, damn, well, I still got a bit you, of... You I break boards a lot. I still got a little bit of time. You, didn't you get Maya full setup like with trucks and wheels? Yeah, I gave him my dark slide and, like, setup. And so did to Yeah, I gave him my dark slide trucks and wheels. You actually have that many trucks. Well, I got no sponsors left. Now I'm going to have to buy them next That's time. That's what I'm saying. You're like giving out all these products and you don't actually even like have any that you're receiving. False flag event for sure. Um, I mean, yeah. But, I don't know, I have gained so many skating things for free in my life, I think it's fair to give at least some of them away. <sighs> da, da, da. Should I bring in my cable? I'm so hungry. Yeah, me too. Did we eat on the same page? Yep. Oh, if I bring this cable, it doesn't even actually help me. I don't think I brought my iPhone cable. Okay, if, we, if it really gets in trouble, I'll come out here and we'll Don't resolve. you have the light up one? Yeah, but I only, I only have one USB, not micro. Um. I might have it in my bag, I'm not sure though. Uber Eats streams are great. I think so too, fellow chatter, but we are in the, um, what do they call it? Positive feedback loop right now of my, the safety of my chat, where everyone's willingly chose to be here and they align with my, our ethical values or whatever. Oh yeah, I really didn't bring a cable. Gifted Hater would never say that to your face. I think he would, because I think overall Gifted Hater was lightheartedly like uh, poking at the video, which I think was fine. I, what I thought, what I, what I like, not upset me, but what I thought was interesting was that the comment is like seemed more serious. I didn't see any of the content, so I don't know what's in reference to. Yeah. Ooh. Blueberry Sip on this. Lemonade. Foster's. Okay, we have arrived. It's too beautiful. Shh. Please, don't disturb other diners. Oh man, it is Very quiet. Very rude to disturb other diners. Well, we got turning it down a little bit? All right, guys, I turned it down slightly. It's like half volume. Yeah, you can see how soft that was. Turn them off? Yeah, all right, I will. Thank you. You want to sit on the same side? <coughs> Alright, I'm gonna... All of, all of these tables, they put us like right next to other people. And they did look over. Should I turn the alerts off? Yes. Or keep them on. Thinking about people who came here to spend money to have a nice meal. Yeah, alright, 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 alright. So sometimes I have to remind you about reality. <coughs> that looks good. Okay, let's do a look at the menu together. Do you want to sit on the same side? Oh, guys, I forgot about my plan. What? Remember, we're in Australia. I was starting to execute my plan. No. 
Okay, see this, see this, uh, yeah. see this, um, uh, what is it called? Mm -hmm. In the frame. So I actually went to these exact boxes in Australia, it's in Brighton, and I took a photo that's the exact same composition, except I'm sitting right here. And I was gonna print it off and try to put it at the Outback Steakhouse. You think it's a good idea? What is it? Look. The Aussie Jawsy. Look at that with the bloody shark in it. Is that cool? Aussie Jawsy. It's a little bit racist to just say all Australians get bitten by sharks. No? Alright, I'm gonna sit over there. Tasmanian shrimp and scallop pasta. Look, the chocolate thunder from down under. Can we get a chocolate thunder from down under? Sure. For dessert, really? So, the Bloomin' Onion is $12. They think if we sign up, we get one for free. Do we believe that? Didn't my PM get eaten by a shark? Hello. I knew it. Hello. Hi. How are you guys? Good. good. How are you? Good. good. My name's Dominic. I'm going to be taking care of you today. Are you guys ready to order some drinks? Um, you want your thing? Uh, no, I'm gonna look first. I got you guys I need a couple more minutes? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, can we just get two waters right now? Yes, I'll be back with that. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Hey, Aussie Jawsy. I just think it's so cool. Looking. Dang, they said it should be a stingray sandwich. <laughs> You know what's funny? My There's friend just got stung. My friend got stung by a stingray like two days ago, and I just um, maybe you know, yeah, have we the want other TTS. What? Can we do it like over here so that strangers in it just to not give anyone anything to, anything to be upset about? Um, my friend, she got stung by a stingray, and I was like, dang, I'm like, you're stronger than Steve Irwin, and I sent her the muscle. Savage. You gotta be nice. What? I was shocked to see that my friend got stung by a stingray. I didn't know you could do that. Uh, what is the Bloomin' Onion? It is this. It's kind of a weird thing. It has literally absolutely nothing to do with Australian culture or Australian in any kind of way. Look, Bloomin' Fried Shrimp. Australian version of onion rings? I mean, it's not really Australian at all. It was unlucky, it went right in his heart. Yeah. I think he was in deep water. I think he was off a boat in deep water. And I'm pretty sure they filmed it as well and they all like vowed to like never release the footage. That's cool that they did vow that and it never got leaked. I'm trying to look this up. Outback Steakhouse offers a designated driver program. Ask your server for details. Like what does that mean? That's me. I'm trying to look it up. R.I.P. Steve, yes. R.I.P. Steve Owen, legend. Absolute legend. So we're gonna get a blooming onion and what else? It's actually kind of a lot of food. I have those two waters for you guys. Thank you. And then have we decided on any other drinks or do we need a couple more minutes? Um, uh, it's up to the boss. I think the Aussie Jazzy is really good if you're trying to. I was it. looking at it, I think that's so cute. It's really good and you get to keep the shark. Whoa. <laughs> Everybody says like it's super What if it bites us? <laughs> don't sue, just don't sue. <laughs> Good idea. I don't know, what do you think, Ricky? Should yeah, I get it. Sure. Aussie Jawsy? Mm hmm. And then if you don't like it, I could always take it off. Okay. <laughs> okay, thanks. Okay. Yeah, I'll try that one. Let's do it. Just one or two? Uh, just one. Just one? Just one? He's don't driving. Sue. And do you want another drink? Like, Dr. I'm alright. No, I'm good. Thank you. Right, sounds good. I'll be back, guys. Thank you. Cool. I, I didn't get carded. What? I thought he might card me. Luckily, you are over 21 years old. LMAO, don't sue, I know. You what? You committed to this? I thought this no was Susie. maybe a little expensive. $13. Damn, I wasn't going to get that. Yeah, I wasn't going to get that. 
Well, you earned it for putting up with the TTS <gasps> in the store. Thank you. Now, next time, you'll be more open to it. Yeah, and now I will be if I know I get a drink afterwards. And you already committed to the chocolate thunder from down under. But look at these other, look okay, at these well, other sweets. Tim Tam brownie cake. Dang, maybe we should get that. Show them. Chocolate. No, this is the thunder from down under. Do you know what Tim Tam is, chat? The Tim Tam brownie cake is chocolate brownie, peanut butter and chocolate mousse, caramel sauce, and Arnott's Tim Tam cookies. And then you got the chocolate thunder from down under, extra generous pecan brownie, rich vanilla ice cream, warm chocolate sauce, chocolate shavings. Okay, cream. let's focus on the meal before the dessert. So we're gonna get a bloomin' onion, which is actually quite a lot of food. Did you check the app if it is a free thing? I don't know what that means. That if you get the Outback app? What, do I have to sign up? I'm trying to read the chat. I'm trying to read the chat. Now I have to sign up? Instead of an appetizer, we'll get an Aussie tizer. I wrote out and it comes up. Microsoft Outlook. Outback. We can get some Sydney shrimp. Damn. All right, Chad, how many how many positive reviews do you think they have? Or how many total reviews do you think the app has? There is a lot. App Store, how many positive, how many total reviews does it have? Gold Coast Coconut Shrimp. I like Sydney shrooms. How many posi how many reviews? Why do I keep saying positive? Because nobody would ever leave a negative review on the Outback Steakhouse app. They're all positive. Why do they want notifications on? Okay. Here, I you can help tapped you. out of it. Let me help you. I, I don't need any you. help. I'm very capable in that. Okay, earn points and redeem rewards. Join is what you need to click. Join now? Well, it doesn't have a dis voucher. I'm not gonna just do it for the points. I'm only doing it if it says get a free thing. Oh, should we put our birthdays in? Tell us when to celebrate? Yeah, maybe you get a coupon on your birthday. It says, Ozzy Jazzy warning, this drink bites back. We have a fantastic news for you. Okay, I don't think I need to join this. Join today. No, yeah, it doesn't say free. Oh, no. Okay, I'm good. Um, okay, we're gonna get an onion, and what else? Snippy Ricky. Uh, it was 79,000. You guys get 69,000, very close. 3,000 from Dwindle, over 9,420. Oh, I don't have any service in here. I'm on SOS. Let's go airplane and back. Free on your next visit? Is it actually Chuck Shake? I think that yeah, was a joke. You don't have the patience for it, so I'm looking it up, or I'm trying to, but I don't have service. I'll back Steakhouse, Wi-Fi. Okay, I don't actually need a steak here. What? Are we just like sharing some things, or like what's the what's the idea? Yeah, well, we're gonna get a blooming onion to share, which I'm prefacing is a lot of food. Yeah. And then, I mean, I don't really want to buy like a forty dollar steak. Yeah. Well, see, like they have this thing, these. Um... Look, on the Wait, Chuck Shake? Does it actually say that? Want a free blooming onion, mate? Sign up for Dine Rewards now. But it says onion next visit. All right, you get onto that. You should sign up though, because you're the one who always comes here. Eat big steak, then good skate. Goes to steakhouse, doesn't buy steak. I'm going to Outback. I'm going to Australia. I didn't necessarily want a steak. Bloomin' Grilled Chicken Sandwich. Outback Boga. Yeah, I might roll that. Prime Rib Sandwich. Bloomin' Boga.
Burgers are cooked to order, served with Aussie fries. I hate how they say that. Because they're not French yet. fries, they're Aussie fries. Aussie, they say Aussie. This is my next visit. Oh, yeah. Is this our next visit? Is Outback a common term? Mm, it's it's like the word desert, basically. It's like, oh, you're from the Outback? Oh, you live in the desert? It's kind of like that. So like, not really. In the city where I live, no one ever said Outback ever. Oh, they'll say, oh, I drove to Sydney and I drove through the Outback. This place is rebranded Texas Roadhouse. I actually was reading about the history of this and by reading, I mean watching a YouTube video. And it said, the four people that founded Outback Steakhouse, they specifically didn't go to Australia because they knew that all their stereotypes were going to be broken. So they chose not to go so they could keep it. All right, are we ready to order? Do we need a couple more? Um, I was trying to figure out, because I clicked the thing that said, sign up for the rewards to get a free Bloomin' Onion. And I signed up and then I never said anything afterwards. Yeah, it takes, I believe, like 48 hours. Dang. To get that oh, they freaking play you. <laughs> Thing. Now I'm gonna get pointless get emails. It. I could try and tell my manager, like, hey, they signed up, they didn't know. Uh, yeah. You wanna do it? Uh, yeah, if that's yeah. possible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. You. yeah. Sounds yeah. good. Thank back. you. Dang, savage. Play. I don't well, because like it was when though. I opened the Wi Fi and like I went to click on the Wi Fi and I was like, hey, do you want a free Bloomin' Onion? I was like, yeah, I did. They hit say, you with like, the 48 hour? 48 seems excessive. Give at least 12. They didn't say anything about like, um, like, get it later. Okay, I'm gonna get Bloomin' Onion and this burger. What are you gonna get? The Bloomin' Onion is to share, the burger is for me to eat and you to not. Oh. Oh, but then if we get a dessert as well, it's gonna be I know, that's it. why I thought we were just gonna like share something if we were getting the Bloomin' Onion. Well, what is the why option we, to share? What? Crispy shrimp and scallop bites. Like we can yeah, get another, okay. we, we could get another like appetizer type of thing, like wings. Kookaburra wings. Mac and cheese bites, seared pepper ahi, Gold Coast shrimp. Shrimp on the Barbie. You want to get shrimp on the Barbie? No, I don't really want shrimp. I kind of just want the burger. You can have the fries, and I'll have the burger. But I think buy something else as well. I'm not trying to just eat fries. I know, I know. But I'm saying you could. Snippy Ricky. So if we're getting the bloomin' onion and the dessert. I heard a buzzword. Yeah. <laughs> but I think that's not related to me, don't worry. Okay, well, what are you interested in? I remember last time we were kind of disappointed with the food. Yeah. Um, grab, free, grab a Snickers. Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree. Remember that song? Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree. I come from a land down under. Okay. Last time I got steak here, it sucked. Yeah, that, that was my impression as well last time. Okay, That's what I was thinking about. Tasmanian chili, spicy, all steak, no beans. What is that, a soup? Yeah. Do any of these appetizers seem interesting to you? Not really. Okay, you just get your burger. Yeah. I'll just get a soup. Okay. I wonder if the Tasmanian chili is good. Ricky's never had chili? No, I have. I guess. Why isn't Men at Work playing? They probably do play it. It's probably in the rotation. <clears throat> Can I put this up? Dang, I can't. Which burger are you getting? The... Outback burger. That sounds good. I wish I could just take like a bite of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Where is this? Inside the shark. Oh, it's in the shark? Yeah. Oh. Show the stream. Show the stream. Show the stream. What? 
Okay, so what? I pour it out his mouth? Yeah. Whoa! Oh, that was worth the experience. Wow. <laughs> and then are you guys ready to order? Do we need a couple more minutes? Uh, are you ready, babe? Yeah. Um, Yo, Crab, what is up? Um, uh -oh. um, what were, what, so what did we decide? Okay, how is that Tasmanian chili? Is really it really good. Like, I've never heard any complaints. Okay. Everybody likes it. And what is the size of a croc? It's gonna be like a big bowl, kind of. Is that? It's like a step up above, like a little bowl. Cause like I know the blooming onion is like. It's a little bit smaller. Than this. this. It's a little bit smaller. But we're getting that, and we're gonna get a dessert. So I'm like, how much soup should I? Uh, I'd say about like a plate size. Should I hit the croc? Yeah. Hit the croc. Okay. Sure. All right, I'll do the crock of the crock chili. chili. Is it like super spicy or just like? No, it's okay. not that spicy. Okay. And I'll get the Outback Burger and then the Bloomin' Onion as well. How do you like that burger cut? Uh, me uh, yeah, medium rare. Medium rare. And then for your side? Uh, fries, rice, baked potato, sweet potato, broccoli, asparagus. Just fries, yeah. Just fries. Yeah, fries. we'll take the Aussie fries. All right, let's do it. Sounds good, guys. Good. So Thank you. You're welcome. When he zerted to me, I was like, where's the um, blood? Crab, thank you for the 69 bits. Okay, I thought the TTS was off, but I, I need to do a better job ready? of turning it off. <laughs> What's, what is the red? Grenadine. The logo on the shock's kind of sick. Let me get the. Oh, you don't see it on this Android. side. It actually is a great white. Keep oh, yeah, for sure, keep the start. This is sick. I'm going to start making mixed drinks like this where I put. Just grenadine on the inside the shark for everything. Wait, wait, what did they say? So look, the blood in the water really, really destroyed the drink. Shorts on the plane is okay. Every time I fly, I wear pants, if I'm honest. Because it's too cold in the cabin. Do you think the waiter knows we're streaming? Yeah, I mean, he can see the phone. It's just a plastic toy, not a real gray white. What? What are you talking about? Send it back. It's a real gray white. I'm so confused. Ricky's considered indigenous in the outback. <laughs> Not really though, because there's indigenous Australians. Yeah, that's why they don't let you pour. They don't want you to bring a brown drink out. Yeah, because in the picture, like I don't know if you guys saw on the menu, the picture is really cool. It was like sitting there and the, it looked like the blood was coming out of the shark. But, like yeah. as soon as you pour it, it just goes. Crab, Crab says wearing pants on a plane is giving respect to the people next to you. If I'm honest, I wasn't considering the people at all. I was just thinking I'm cold. <laughs> You're never considering the people? Are you considering? I feel like when I'm on a plane, the people next to me take off their shoes and stuff. I would never do that. I always take off my shoes in the plane. What about the people next to you? What do you mean? What about them? Do my socks beat in socks below They stink into them. No. You gotta have this in here if you're gonna have a straw. He's been on the table. Yeah. Soaking up the germs. It's like really too sweet, but it's a fun experience. I agree. Sandal is a huge no. I think bare feet is disgusting, but if you're in socks, that's fine. It's 2024. If you don't wear sweatpants and a hoodie, it's disrespectful. You know what I think is really disrespectful on the plane? Is. One, the people who crank their seat back all the way right away, but it's fine, they recline, it's your prerogative, but the really rude thing is when the food is served, you're meant to bring your seat back up so that the person behind you is able to eat, like actually eat without the chair over the food. In the last flight I had, the people in front of my row did not raise their seat while we were eating and like that's annoying it's like come on like now my food is here and the chair is here and i like can't even like get to my food like it's like it's courtesy the the airlines do say like please raise your seat for the meals and some people just don't do it yeah how's your drink 
Damn, Theo, what's Whoa. good? Oh my wow, God. thank you. Here's that cropped chili for you. Wow, thank thank you. you so much. Do we need anything else? Uh, uh, I think we're good, good right now. Yeah, thank you. Guys. Thank you, Theo. We are out here at. So, welcome, Raiders. Welcome in. We are out here at Outback Steakhouse. You know, it is a little bit lucky that I turned the notifications off because right now we'd be playing the loudest Thomas the Tank Engine sound ever when they raid. But, Raiders, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Ricky Glaza. I am professional skateboarder notable skateboarder but it's been very hot what in la mean? this is my lovely girlfriend janice Pateri. she was in the winter olympic games representing malta but i am actually australian and i thought i would share my beautiful culture with my lovely girlfriend because it's been too hot to skate it's been 110 here in la and i tried to skate and my phone overheated so i thought i would share my beautiful culture with her and that's why we went to outback steakhouse fun fact Outback Steakhouse has nothing to do with Australian culture at all, but it's fun. I like how like as soon as he raided, the Bloomin' Onion was delivered. It was like the I know, best that was, time. That was crazy. But yeah, welcome in. Um, you guys might be tech people. I know Theo likes to call you nerds. Theo actually skates a little bit, if you guys might have seen from your relationship with him. Wait, you're Australian? I thought that was an LA accent. Oops. I spilled onion sauce on your streaming phone. Uh oh. You skate? Question mark? Theo controls the boom and onion delivery. Theo, your community better know that you skate. I was good at some point in my life. Yeah, what's the what's the title? Switch laser flip seven stair? Nolly laser flip six stair? I think switch, right? They do, okay, great. Really, really just. How was your stream, Theo? You ready for TwitchCon? TwitchCon, Theo and I will be reunited. Look how beautiful. That was my peak. Switch laser flip a six step. I've never switched laser flip a six step. Wow, he must be better than you. He must be. But Theo was a little bit of freestyle influence too. I don't know who Theo is. I think you might, you might have met him at VidCon. TwitchCon's oh. gonna be nuts. I booked a big venue for a party Saturday night. You better oh. come. I will come. Should I come? I'm excited. You wanna come to the TwitchCon party? Mm -hmm. I thought you hate TwitchCon. Theo, you think I can bring a skateboard into TwitchCon? Or at least a deck or not? Probably not, right? There's this Outback Steakhouse 10 minutes away from my place. Tomahawk steak is nice. It's so funny as an Australian to like read the menu and stuff. The menu is literally just normal food, except they just took a few city names and a few animal names and just put it in front of the, the food. The Sydney shrooms, the kookaburra like wings. The look burger I ordered. Look at this. Oh. Wow. Instead of saying French fries, which is an American thing to say, it says Aussie, Aussie fries. I could just say fries. <sighs> They're mostly annoying about bags. I was surprised they cap. Yeah, I think a deck. I think a deck I could take in. Because we were saying I should get a deck and try to get like famous streamers to sign it and then give it away. Honestly, the Bloomin' Onion is pretty good. Yeah. I remember last we, time it was good at the start, and then you get like, kind of sick of it. You're like, did oh, we I get still it when we went? Yeah, of course. Do we like it? Yeah. Because I feel like I like this better than I remember liking it. Yeah, I think this one is good. It's because this one we're in LA. I lost time we're in SF. <laughs> That's why this one's better. Nah, I don't know. Sorry, Theo. Deck, I'm 100% sure they're cool with. Okay, great. Janice eating chili. Janice is eating all beef, no beans, chili. And I'm glad that I went with the crock because this is what I imagined bowl size was. I thought, or the cup. I thought this was the cup. And then I thought crock was going to be like bigger. But this is, this is the right amount. But this is like my main course. And it's coming before Ricky's burger. 
I should have said that it was like my main. This so is a greasy day for me. Burger and fries and extremely greasy onion. Most SF food is way better than LA. I'll take the L on Outback Steakhouse, lol. <laughs> hey, we didn't mean to set up LA. We were just speaking openly. I think I went twice in the bay. Once with you, once with Aaron Cairo. Now this is the first time I've been to this one. And Raiders, I got this shark attack drink. It came with a great white shark. Yeah, it actually was pretty cool. The in the mouth of the shark was part yeah, of the. Yeah, it was. It was like a blue drink, and inside the shark they had grenadine, and so you like pour it in, so it looked like blood pouring in, and then it was like the shark was like in like a drink of blood. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Um, do you guys have some ketchup? Thank you. We're gonna show them. All right, I think I'm gonna put the mic here, and it will catch up better. Uh oh. So, I mean, kind of just regular burger. The fries look a little sad. We're out of blooming onion sauce. Okay, you want to hit up the guy? Yeah, I'm going to ask the guy. I don't want to ask the connect. girl for another thing. I'll, I'll help get our blooming guy. Here we go. Thank you. You want some fries? Mm -hmm. it taste fast. No cheese. These are good fries, baby. <laughs> yeah, there is no cheese. Mm. No cheese is wild. I would have thought old burgers come with cheese. Well, no, cheeseburgers come with cheese. Not in Australia. We fries are good. How's everything looking so far, guys? Good. Good. Um, How was the chili? Really good. What about the drink? The drink is very sweet. <laughs> good? Good, sweet, or too much? A little too sweet, but it's okay. Um, but uh, yeah, the chili's good. The wound onion. Can we good. get some more onion some more sauce? sauce? Yeah, yeah so the sauce that. is good. Thank yeah, thank you. He looks sad. Like, yeah, you bump, you bumped him out. Why did you say that? Because he was like, oh, like if you don't want to hear him, like, like well, someone, honestly, it's like. Eh. If I'm being honest, if a server asked me if I got something and I hated it, if the burger was tasted terrible, and they say, "How's it all tasting?" No part of me would ever say anything other than, oh, great, thanks. Oh, I would. But what would you say? It's okay. I'm saying, you know, this isn't that good, to be honest. I would just say, oh, yeah, great, okay, bye. But, you don't... Sauce Thank, you. Thank you. Guys. You're welcome. Enjoy. You don't understand in America, there's like, um... There... Depends how bad. That's a little bit true. If it was, like, unedible, maybe I would be So, fine. like, no, there was, um... There was this like, like at TGI Fridays, they used to have this thing that like their menu would be like, try something new, like get out of your comfort zone, try something new, like, like try a new thing. And if you don't like it, we'll replace it with like your usual favorite. And so like, they were literally like advertising to people, try something else. And if you don't like it, like we'll just replace it with a different entree, you know? Like companies will do that. I would be honest, but not hostile. I mean, yeah, I guess. And then uh, Chuck Shake said, as former kitchen staff, don't send anything back ever. I agree with that. But I'm not even talking about sending back. I'm saying, like, he goes, how's the drink? And she goes, oh, it's a little sweet. I would have just said, oh, yeah, great, thanks. Because what's the point of saying it's a little sweet? Because then, let's say someone else comes tomorrow and goes, oh, I think I might want this shark attract attack drink but like i don't really like super sweet drinks this is it super sweet he might go oh yeah you know what it is pretty sweet like some people have said it's sweet because like as a server you nec haven't necessarily what, tried everything on the menu look what filthy and said what where just a coincidence one time my boss bring home made food for work for everyone she asked how i liked it i said it was okay a month later fired i don't think that's connected <laughs> i think it's directly related but like there's a difference like about being hostile versus being like yeah i just don't really like it cause all right i'm digging in to the cheese like there are some people who will be like terrible people about not liking stuff and like, this is disgusting what the fuck and there's some people who'd be like nah, i don't really like it i got medium red and actually it's pretty good they cooked it well like well as in they cooked it medium red nicely <laughs> 
I'm trying to use the only thing I speak up for is raw food or like something growth food that should be there. Or I think if something is maybe like spicier than you expected, like if it if it said whatever spicy, happens, you say, oh yeah, great, nice. Thanks. No, like like if you genuinely can't eat your meal, like and you just leave it there untouched, they're gonna know something was wrong, you know. What's can't? Like if you can't eat no spicy food, no matter what, food, I can if, eat the meal. If, this is you not functioning like a normal human. Most people have like a limit to their spice tolerance where like something would come out and if they were like, oh, like my mouth is burning, I can't eat this, I can't eat this. Like, I think it'd be reasonable to be like, I like, I didn't know it was spicy. Like now on the menus, that's why they say things are spicy. So like, if it says it's spicy and then you're like, it's too spicy, it's kind of your bad. But like I asked this guy, the guy before I ordered this because it said spicy, I was like, how spicy is it? So, like, if he said, like, oh, it's not really spicy, and then it came out, like, jalapeno hot, I would have been like, whoa, like, you said this wasn't spicy, like, What's I can't jalapeno have... hot? I don't know, just, like, super spicy. If it came out really spicy after you said it wasn't, I'd be like, hey, this is just, like, too hot. I think mean, there's, like, legitimate reasons for, like, having problems with food versus, like, unlegitimate. Like my aunt in Ventina, uh, some kind of allergy. Yeah. I just like you like... just don't want broccoli, and you go, "Oh, I can't have broccoli. I'm allergic." And then I you like, like send it back for that. It's like, come on. If a server or someone that like has nothing to do with me ever asks me like, "How am I? How is it? How is whatever?" I feel like there's no point in ever giving a real answer. You just say, "Oh yeah, great, thanks." But like I explain, like a server hasn't necessarily gone in to sample every single thing on the menu. And so somebody then later asks about like, oh, how is this thing? It might have information for them to be like, oh yeah, everybody is like that. Or, oh, some people have thought it's spicy. Like some people have thought it's really sweet. You know, information is good to share. I believe in the free sharing of information. Freedom of information? Yeah, dwindle. For a chain, it's worth it to make sure you're having a back. That's what I was saying, like, TGI Fridays had a thing that was like, go on, try something new. Like, don't worry if you don't like it, we'll replace it. I like say, before. trust no one, not even yourself. That's how I live my life. Before I had even ordered it, he said, oh, well, hey, he's like, he's like, yeah, like, you should get, like, if you don't like it, we'll, I'll swap it out with something for you. Like, he said it before I even ordered it. So also, that's why thanks, he was like, Do you Thanks like for it? the follows, guys. Normally, I'm not a mukbang creator, and normally I'm going skateboarding IRL. But I'm just trying to be general IRL, but like I said, it's been too hot to go skating, so that's why we're kind of How hot has it been, stuff. Ricky? 110. I went skating the other day in 110, and the, the I was capable, but my equipment was not. My equipment was in the shade, maximum cooling, and it was not possible. Um... What's funny is, um, is, um, what's funny is I saw some post a meme on Instagram that was like, they wrote like, heading to Vegas to get a break from the heat, because it had like LA, it had like LA temperature 107 and Vegas was like 104. You're like, heading to Vegas to get some cool weather. <laughs> yeah. I thought that was so funny. <laughs> I don't think it's ever been hotter in in Vegas or hotter in LA than it is in Vegas. Like that's wild. Tuesday's gonna stop pulling off playing a skate stream. Tuesday I'm gonna be in the bay, which is cooler as well. So we could do something on Tuesday potentially. Tomorrow the plan was to I asked you guys, should I stream while I drive to the bay? And you said yes. Mm. The plan tomorrow honestly is to go to Garrett Jr.'s house. But he was being flaky to me. Can we appreciate this huge piece of steak just in the chili? Mm hmm I guess maybe I would, won't stream the drive because then I would just stream at Garage in his house. Take Highway 1. Why not 5? Garrett's afraid of the stream life. It's currently 27 Evan Scotland. No, he doesn't care about that. He was saying like, oh, I have this thing in the morning, I don't know. And then I was like, well, uh, can I get a yes or a no? I gotta try to figure it out. Am I gonna film the boys' content? Yes. No, it was one video and one video only. That's what we're gonna film on Tuesday. You have any ideas? 
I'm going to Garrett's. The plan was to go to Garrett's house tomorrow. Because I'm going to the bay anyway. So I was like, okay, Garrett is like kind of near there. They're playing US country music. Is the this boys what they, break up video tomorrow? Is this what they imagine plays in Australia? Country music? Yeah. I guess they see like the desert, like red desert and trucks, and they go, yeah, country music. Go to Freeman and wait for That's Adam. what I was saying. It'd be so funny if you guys were filming an episode of Du Bois while he came there. So, to find Aaron, I would have to go to Fremont on a weekend. But honestly, if I went there on a Saturday and just waited, the chance of him coming is, like, relatively high. How funny would it be if, like, your crew of, like, four guys were filming, and then Aaron and Chris show up? That would be crazy. And they, they, like, what do you think they do? I feel like if they saw you, they'd turn around and leave. Yeah. Like, if they saw your whole crew, they'd be like, oh, we gotta get out of here. Chris might did. come up. Just, Chris like, hasn't having... spoken a word to you since he disappeared, either. Yeah, but Chris, I didn't think Chris would turn around and walk away. I think he would say, oh, hey, hey, it would be, like, super awkward, and then he would leave. Yeah, but I think, like, if Aaron spotted you, he would just be like, oh, we gotta go. And yeah, he'd, like, turn I around. think so. They stop fighting? I don't think so. <laughs> Street brawl, it's like the Jets and the Sharks. Imagine all this stuff with Aaron was just our marketing scheme that in like six months from now They're we gonna organize a pay-per-view pay pay revenge. Ricky versus Aaron Cairo. Who, who would, will be the boss Who would win now? in a UFC fight, you versus Aaron? What are you talking about? You want to question that? You might have to get out if you're questioning that. No, I might have... have to take that to go, go. <laughs> I have an answer in my head. I want to see what your answer was. What do you mean? I mean, Aaron's taller than me, but he's like skinny and weak. Yeah. You think I can't beat him in a fight? I didn't say you couldn't be. I said, who would? Who do you think would win? McNug maybe has some fight experience. That would be more fair, I think. I have it in my head of who would win. I know. I wanted to get your answer before I reveal mine. Reveal? Yeah. What's the reveal? This thing is obvious. Yeah, obviously you would win. McNug, I think, would be a part of five. I didn't have any fight experience, really. McNug has muscles, he's strong, but like, I think you could beat him in a fight. And with you and him, it comes down to like, you have more reach. Yeah, but I mean like, what fight are you talking, street fight or a boxing match like, with points? Yeah. A boxing match? Yeah. Well, I mean, that comes down to who's a better boxer. McNug's like 4'11". Well, so... He was in pretty good shape though, last I seen. Maybe, I don't know if he kept it up. As someone who was at all of the Olympics semifinals and finals matches, I have a good. Um, Why are we test. fighting? I have a good. I have a good sample to make my assumption of, and what I noticed is not a couple. What I noticed was because it's all weight classes, but you'd have some weight classes where the one competitor was like seven inches taller than the other. There'd be like a small person that was muscular and tall person, and the tall person won every time because like the smaller one would just yeah, wouldn't be able to get in with reach. an Olympic boxing match yeah. Olympic boxing match is not a good representation yeah. of a fight yeah no but I'm just saying like if it, when it comes to height like I don't think Chris would be able to reach you with any punches but I mean if we're talking like a brawl of where yeah. it's like anything goes it kind of comes down to who has more street fighting experience and it's, I don't have very much street fighting experience I mean, all I really have Kral is from Maga. doing Kyle Maga. yeah but I don't know Chris would play dirty I mean I play dirty from the Krav Maga too if it's a fight to the death <laughs> if it was a boxing match, it's a bit different. What about Rick versus a kangaroo? I think kangaroo. Maybe. I don't really want to eat all this. Can we bring it to go and get the dessert? You think we can heat it back up at home? Well, I can. I can do anything. We'd have to put in the air fryer, but it's doable. But I'm saying, like, I don't want to eat this much grease right yeah. now. Like, right it's this second. Enough grease Should for we me. put this up here too, then? Yeah. We're not going to have enough sauce to bring home, though. We can find our own. It's funny how when we're walking by, like, walking through the park and I see the Canadian geese, I'm always really scared because I know Canadian geese are aggressive. And you're always like, what? I would just snap their neck. It's different when it's a street fight and if someone has wrestling experience or grappling sports, it drops you to your back. Yeah, I would do a little bit of grappling in Krav Maga, but it was my weak point for sure. Is the drink hitting? Not gonna lie, yes. Are you drunk? A little bit. Is that why we're being nice to Rick now? What do you mean? 
chat can attest I have been nice this entire time and Ricky is the one who gets snippy. Ricky is snippy. Janice has been nice the whole time. Janice is a victim. Victim of what? Your snippiness. Play it cool, yeah. I shouldn't have I shouldn't have outed myself. Outed yourself a what? Have I been oh, in a street fight the, in they the got US? The shark no. one too. I just heard him say, you get to keep the shark. I, so I was never in a fight in Australia either. I'm at a bar, this happens. I spilled a dude's drink. What the? You spilled my drink? I just go, sorry, bro, and walk away. Um, Ricky can't get in a street fight in the U.S. because he'd get deported. Yeah. I mean, if I got arrested. GR! <laughs> <laughs> Um, Billy PQ command Snippy Ricky. We should make a command that tracks how many times he gets snippy. Kind of like the complaint count, but snippy. Counts. I like the idea of when the complaint count gets to like 500, I have to do an Uber Eats stream as punishment. One drink, Janice is pretty sweet though. It's too sweet, yeah, you shouldn't drink it. It was very it's like it, it's um you know when you get like syrup in your mouth and your tongue gets like slimy that like this drink instantly gave me like slimy tongue <laughs> yeah the complaints are still on i don't know you just get married right before your street fight that's what you're saying look at idubs will never be the same he had his brain rearranged dang Yeah, true, Jim Tim. Ricky, All right, so you know Ricky, what the dessert like is called, Tim Tim? I don't want your brain to get rearranged. Why? Because you're so smart. Maybe I'll be more agreeable. Wouldn't you like that? I like that you're smart. You like that I'm argumentative? <laughs> you are... Um, what's the word for it? Um, uh, bullheaded? Is that the word when someone's very... Um, you have your opinions and your ideas, and you are correct. Is there a word for that? Intelligent? <laughs> Stubborn. The stiff me, Ricky, would take it them all. Everything okay here, guys? Yeah, yeah, perfect. Could we get a box for this and yes. then that Tim Tam dessert? Tim Tam? Sounds yeah. good. I'll Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. They're both strong opinionated. Mm -hmm. Both of us? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I am easygoing, but then when it comes to something related to me and my life, that's when I'm strong. And obviously being in a relationship, that's where you hit the more of like my life stuff. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Whereas like, like any of my friends or something, they'll go, yeah, Rick is very chill. He's very relaxed. He's never going to like cause problems. Look. But relationship is a bit different. See, this is important. Filthy. Now, at least you guys communicate. That's a great quality, whether it's Namira. And that's the thing. It's like when people are saying, oh, you guys are arguing. You guys are arguing. But like, I think it's better that we argue than we like just get mad privately and like silence each other out and don't talk about things that upset us. Like, I think arguing any day is better than like, like what they say, like if you if you aren't arguing anymore, like that's bad news because it means like you just don't care. Thank you. Well, thank you. Great. Like if you stopped arguing, that's when you've already decided that you're like done with the relationship and you don't want to fight for it. So like if you're fighting, it means you're still fighting yeah, for the I'm relationship. A I'm done. I get. I drink is hitting. I get very loving when I'm drinking. We know. Yes, you always say every time I like have a drink and I get all sweet and lovey, you're like, I should give you drinks more. Yeah. And you know? You say, yeah. The whole first first two years of our relationship, he wouldn't buy me a drink because he said, oh, it's your choice if you want to drink alcohol. Like, you can get your own. And he said, I'm not going to buy alcohol. And then he realized that maybe buying his girlfriend a drink once in a while is a good thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's all you gotta say about that? Yeah. I don't know. Well, I'm never gonna tell you not to drink, but I will never drink. But, but that thing you like, said, you said, I'm not gonna tell you not to drink, but like, I'm not gonna buy your drinks. You always said you wouldn't buy me a drink. Yeah. At least you're not a mean drunk. Look, we got the merch bag, guys. 
take me home tonight. CGR, too bad you can't share a bottle of wine while you're cooking a meal. <laughs> and I never will. You will never get that. So what was wild was when we were in Australia for Ricky's birthday. For Ricky's birthday, I booked us because the whole time in Australia, basically we were staying with his parents. And so I'm like, all right, for his birthday, I'm going to book us a hotel room. And it's like, yeah, even though we're still in Melbourne where, you know, we have a place to stay, like it'd be nice to have a night to ourselves, and we can go to the pool and just, you know, have a, have a nice night out on the town. So I booked a hotel room that part of the booking, it like came with a bottle of wine. And then like on the check-in thing, I said the reason was like, cause it was a birthday. And so like they gave us another bottle of wine. They, it was like a bottle of wine that came with the room and then a bottle of wine, or it was like a bottle of champagne for the birthday. And um, so we get to the room, there's two bottles and it's like, dang, like I gotta drink this all myself. Yeah. A lot of pressure on me. It's a lot of work. I think I, did I bring one of the bottles home? I might have brought a bottle Bringing a glass home. bottle in the suitcase is out of pocket. I always respect the decision, but I want to see how Ricky reacts after a few. Yeah, I'm to I, think the last time I, got I really, drunk. really want to see Ricky drunk. I, we've been, we have known each other for three and a half years now, and I've always on wished my, that I could see him drunk. On my 19th birthday, I went to Strike Bowling Bar in Australia, and that was probably the last time I got like really, really like blackout drunk. I, and after that, I was kind of like mellowing out. And then, well, I still drunk when I was 20. And then towards the end of the year, when I was 20, I was like, I'm kind of over this. Hi, how are you doing? Perfect. Whoa. Tim Tam. Tim Tam, KQ. Thank Pumpkin you. Great, too. thanks. Thank you. Can I make anything out of the way? Uh, yeah. Yeah, this stuff, this stuff. I'm just gonna throw it Cool, thank, thank you. you. Sure. Do you need any more drinks or anything? Um, we're all right, thank you. Yeah, we're good, thanks. Of course, enjoy. All right, guys, Tim Tams are Australian thing. If you don't know what Tim Tam is, I don't know, look it up, I guess. It was funny when I, I made a video, it's probably on my YouTube still. I think it's like Americans Try Vegemite or something like that with Chris Chan in the thumbnail. Um, I gave them Vegemite and then they were all like, oh, terrible, whatever. But then after I said, okay, you ate the Vegemite, try this other thing, Tim Tam, extremely nice, delicious biscuit, chocolate biscuit. And they were all scared. They're like, is this, they're like, is this gonna have Vegemite in it? Blah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah, you tricked everyone. Can I speak up for one of the people that got tricked? Well, I knew what Vegemite was, but he goes, oh, to really try it, you gotta get a lot. So like normally how an Australian eats Vegemite is you just like do a very small layer like very small dusting he's like no it's got to be like a thick layer like peanut butter yeah i was trying to mess you up yeah so you didn't even give people a chance to like it because you had them put on a thick layer that they were just gonna hate from the get-go so it was very traumatizing 18 to drink in australia you guys tripping on that yeah of course i quit drinking before i was 21 from let's say 18 up until when I was 20, I was like, yeah, I'm over this now. Okay, and what they say, Vegemite with no bread bar, he did Wonder Bread. Just white, fake Wonder <sighs> Bread, no okay, butter. Okay, enjoy your nice thing instead of being mad about Vegemite. I'm not being mad, I'm telling a, a story. <laughs> I'm telling a story with expression. <laughs> Why are you thinking I'm mad? Too much expression. So, he gets white Wonder Bread. You should be on toast. We were sitting on top of her van. White Wonder Bread. Where is no the butter, butter? Where is the toast? Peanut butter thick layer of Vegemite. And But like the thing is, like I've already had Vegemite. I knew what to expect. But the other guys that you tricked did not know. So Yeah, I think if you watch the video, I believe it was like a yellow thumbnail with Vegemite. I'm pretty sure it's Chris Chan. I think Nigel was the most like... When I showed the Tim Tams, he's like, Is this gonna have Vegemite? With, and it's funny because also I had Tim Tams before. So, oh, we're yeah. just like that. Can yeah, we take a bite together? Stay away from my side. Take your, scoop your thing up so we can eat it, a bite. No, from <laughs> you cut it into sides, so now you live with your decision. Yeah, because I want to know how much I have to eat left. Cheers. Cheers, chef. I'm very appreciative of you. What, to enjoy my meal? I don't like sharing food. Ricky I don't like that it's a relationship -y thing. He'll never share food. He hates it. Yeah, I do hate it. Correct. 
That's more annoying than him not drinking. I wish she would want to share food more. We go to a restaurant and she goes, do you want to try my thing? And I go, no, I don't care what you got. Yeah, that's the weirdest thing is that like everyone in my life, all friends, all family, when you're at a restaurant and you have like an entree, you'd be like, oh, like, do you want to try some of this? And it's like, oh yeah, well, I'll try a bite. Because you get to like try what the different things are. I always go, Ricky, you want to try something? He goes, no. And I go, why would I want to try? Can I try a bite of yours? And he goes, <laughs> Because I'm trying to enjoy mine. It's not normal. How's that dessert, guys? Yeah, good. Thank good? you. Awesome. Thank you. You need to try? Why? Yeah, why wouldn't you want to try? Because I, I don't really care. If I went into your thing, I would have ordered your thing. See? Gira says that's weird. Because, like, normally, like, it's not a big deal to be like, oh, yeah, like, let me just take a bite of this to see what this is like. It's like sampling the world. You got, you want to see what's out there in the world. I have learned, I have always, to always give something to my partner. I never try her food. Yeah, well, that's kind of, I give it to her. Phil, Phil said, I sometimes regret trying other people's food out of fear of liking it more than mine. Team reading on this one. Don't just not read the comments that say Team Ricky. I wanted to try it, I would have ordered it, 100%. But see, this is the thing though, is that a lot of times at a restaurant, I go, oh, the salmon looks good and the chicken looks good. And then he goes, oh, I'll get the salmon. I go, okay, well, I'm gonna get the chicken, but like, I wanna taste yours because I didn't Buy what like, you wanna those. eat. But if I wanna taste both, I'm not gonna get two meals. Just a bite is fine. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it, it's... What if you like it next time you get it? So yeah, that's the thing is you can try the other person thing and go, okay, next time I come here, I'm going to get that thing. I, I concede and give the bite. So don't mis, misrepresent that. But like, I just, I, I give zero care to what your one tastes like. Yeah, I always just think it's weird that you don't taste mine. Because to me, like if I say, hey, do you want to try this? And the person goes, no, I'm like, oh, that's strange. Because, like, normal social convention is that you go, oh, yeah, okay. It's like food aggression. Oh, look. Grand Legion. First time I've seen this person comment. My wife and, order, my wife and I order her two items of interest, and I eat the one she doesn't want. I'm in general. So. See, that's a great no, that's too bad. way to do it. That's a great way. Because if you go, uh, yeah, I don't really care. I'd eat the, the chicken or the fish. And then we go, okay, let's get both. And then we'll try both and decide who gets what. But I do care. I specifically want either the chicken or the fish. I don't want to eat one or the other. Rick would not last long in Asian culture. Every meal shared. If it's a date, I understand. But eating a friend or family's plate is kind of weird to me. I agree. But then what's what happens when you're in a relationship? Is 100% of the time a date? Then is it a date if it's just 100%? But I feel 100%? like when I, go, when I go to dinner with my parents, we always try each other's foods. We always, like, we'll, yeah, like... Zero, we are together. Like, I'll, like, cut a piece of my chicken off and, like, put it on my mom's plate and, like, put some of my veggies or whatever on her plate and go, like, okay, here. And she'll go, okay, here's some of mine. And then my dad will be like, here's some of mine. Yeah, me and your dad share some lamb shanks. Okay. But that's mm -hmm. because we pre-planned it ahead of time. We don't just surprise each other. Dead possum game. When we travel to other countries, me and my girlfriend literally just split all meals, like half and half, and I eat whatever yeah, I but like. But that's different because you planned it. I, I have nothing wrong with, like, planning to share food. I'm just not huge on, like... They said sharing food is very European. But see, this... I think cutting this in half makes my experience twice as enjoyable. Whereas if we were both eating it, I would be stressed. But see, it's like, I feel like you give off the energy of like the roommate who's like, I'm going to put a piece of tape through the middle of the room and that is your half and this is my half. Yeah. That's like, then I can relax. But like, we're not roommates. We're not like a stranger. But I've just seen you go over the tape line. They said sharing cake is acceptable. Yeah, like guys, is it weird that you get a dessert and you cut it in half and push your half to one side of the plate and go, this is mine. Because like the thing is that Ricky was like, I want to know What's wrong I, with that? The thing is, I'm not even, I didn't want half of it. No I'm not even going to eat this. What? <laughs> You're on my side? But like, You're I'm gonna not even going to cut shame me? Why? Because I'm not even going to eat this. Like you could have just had the whole thing, but you made it weird. 
Pay for 50, get 50? I mean, she paid for zero. I guess she paid by being part of the stream. <laughs> Billy, Rick takes his app and walks another boot so you can't hide his tooth. <laughs> well, now what are you gonna do with your hog? I didn't ask for half of it. I asked for one dessert to share. I didn't say I would like half of one dessert. But see, what's funny is I would, if I was alone, I wouldn't have ordered a dessert. Does our rig gonna cut the wedding cake? Well, I'm sticking to the plan of eating my 50%. <laughs> but but why don't you bring that, like, peanut butter mousse Why don't you bring that then home, though? I don't want Now it. you cut it too much. I just want to try to get that peanut butter layer or whatever. I don't really like chocolate, and this is a Why do you order this, then? Well, I thought that chocolate cake thing with the ice cream, vanilla ice cream, would be good, and you went, oh, Tim Tam, yeah, let's get the Tim Tam thing. You won the Tim Tam thing. You should have just got what you wanted. How does Ricky do sharing popcorn in the movies? He does not. Yeah, because she tries to micromanage. You're eating too many at one bite. I eat one at a time. Is that nice okay. micromanage? If it comes down to like a snack like that, like a sharing She goes, you're chips. eating the chips that too fast. Yeah. Because if we're sharing, I lost my napkin and fell to the floor. Oh no, it's behind me. Um, if we're doing like chips or popcorn, I do it where I take one piece and I eat it. And I chew it. Everyone in this live is and, different. And my hand goes back to my lap. And then when I'm ready for my next piece, I go to do, to do. And I wait. Ricky goes. And then I'm sitting there. I'm like, man, he just ate like four handfuls in the time I ate like three kernels. Like, dang, I'm not going to get to eat any of this. Pop so them one at a time. Janice, I'm usually on your side. But seriously. Boom. Roasted. What now? What's up with this because, mess you made? Because I go, we're gonna have this bag of popcorn. The movie is two hours. Let's try to make the popcorn last. But wh the where end of the is movie. it written down that the popcorn must last two hours? Where is that I, written? Because I want to enjoy popcorn during the whole movie, and if you eat but it at that pace. But did you hear what you said? You enjoy your way. But Isn't it interesting that other people can enjoy their way Ricky, too? Wouldn't you want to enjoy want it, the no. popcorn during the whole movie? No, I want to eat it all as fast as possible in the first ten minutes. And then what are you gonna eat for the next two Nothing, hours? Nothing, because I'm complacent then. That's so weird. I didn't think I it's like weird at to all. snack while I eat, so I want to snack as long as but possible. But hear the hear the words that you're saying. I and like. What about Rick? What is Rick like? Doesn't Rick's like get to factor in? See, look, Billy. If you don't, if I don't try to make the popcorn last, that shit's done by the intro. See? Yeah, that's fine. And then the intro's done. I'm locked into the movie. I like to try to enjoy during the whole time, so look, I. That's eat why it you slow. get refills. But one, one what do you mean refills? Look, you gotta leave the read movie. Read that one gotta, out loud. What? You gotta leave the read movie to. Sh can I finish saying this? But if you get refills, that means you have to leave the movie to refill. So you miss parts of the movie. Yeah, refill is crazy. But read that. One popcorn at a time. Science sounds like some Scientology crap. What Scientology? Guys, the popcorn doesn't get stale in the course of two hours. Yeah. See my huge mic on the same page. You kill half the bag during previews and then regret and continue to pick out the rest of the movie and change. Yes, that's not what you want to do. The movie starts and you go, crap, I'm halfway uh, what's through. What's happening here? So you go, I better eat it slow now. Have you given up? Because I will eat this if you give up. Oh, I thought this was my half. Yeah, but you, now you're wasting it. Okay, eat it. <laughs> what's this? And that was that's the like peanut butter bread? thing from the middle, but it doesn't can really taste we put like it back in? It's deconstructed now. This yeah, is the cake. This is the peanut butter. It? That's the mousse. Here, scrape with your fork. Oh. Oh. Okay. And now you just pop that back on. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Look, he on pushes my it side. back. <laughs> I'd say I'm done eating, and then he doesn't just eat it off the plate, he pushes it over to his Look, I say Rick is eating someone else's food. Or Rick is too acoustic. <laughs> <laughs> like that? <laughs> what? That was wild. I've never seen anyone do that. I, I don't really like <laughs> desserts like that. I feel like it's too chocolatey. 
<coughs> yeah, I'm done. And you push it to your side. Doug just says I'm autistic. Artistic, I said. Yeah, that's what I said. Are you artistic, Ricky? No. You're not. Yeah, you're not artistic. I'm just trying to live my life. I'm just trying to live my life. You eat your one popcorn at a time, I won't. Yeah, That's, so... Everyone's different. Well, so back to the original point, when it comes to, like, popcorn or, like, snacks like that, it's better to pour it into two separate bowls and we can eat it at our own pace. But something like a meal, I think it's reasonable to just, like, both take bites and not have to divide. Ricky's boundaries expressed physically. <laughs> Does Ricky get mad when you get too close to the side of the bed? Ricky sleeps in the middle of the bed, and no. I sleep on the edge ready to fall off. No, that's the opposite of what is true. Just in the last, like, month or two, I've started to try to reclaim my space in the bed. I started to assert myself so I'm not falling off of the bed the entire night. And sometimes he grabs a blanket, and he rolls over, and he pulls all the blankets with him. Uh -huh. You just did that to me recently. Like a couple weeks ago you told that or you grabbed couple weeks you ago. grabbed all the blankets and you pulled them over with you and I was just like, what are you doing? I think I woke you up. I was like, Ricky, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm fighting back. I'm trying to fight back for my space. I've been a compliant I've been a compliant submissive woman, but now I'm fighting for my space. I bet they sleep in separate beds. When we're in the uh Paris, their hotel had like two separate beds and Janice is like, wow, this is so nice. California King. Look, a chocolate shake. This why me and my wife have our own. I keep telling Ricky we should have separate beds and he says no, no he says way. sheets. Well, they say sheets. the hotel was like two twin beds just pushed up next to each other and then when ricky got sick it was great because the solution was "Ooh, let's push our beds as far apart as they go so then i finally had my own space yeah whichever side close i see no ricky takes the left side no matter what he only will go the left side and i have no choice i just had to accept and be a right side sleeper He never said, which side do you prefer? He said, I must look on this side. If it wouldn't come across as I hate you, I'd always up to sleep in my own bed, lol. I feel that. What do you mean? When I suggest sleeping in our own beds, you're like, no way. Yeah, because it comes across as I hate you. No, but it doesn't. If we both say we would sleep better in our own beds, I don't think it comes across as I hate you. I think it still does. If we if we both agree that we'd rather sleep in our own beds, I don't think it comes across as I hate you. Me and G have run hot and only cuddle in winter. I feel like most people don't cuddle while they're asleep. My problem is that Ricky is a big time sweater. My and problem is you complain about everything I love. Whoa, you're getting like personal. <laughs> Did I share a bed growing up? No. Me and my brother both had rooms. Oh, we had bunk beds in my dad's house. Nippy. She did not like that. Cancel. Meal ruin. What's up? No cuddles now. You want another drink? Yeah, see, they all went, whoa, damn, oh, snippy, whoa. <clears throat> Play the kiss song. TGS off. <laughs> Ricky, where's the in case of emergency boba? You sleep on the couch tonight? No, I'm the one who sleeps on the couch. Ricky does anything is or is sick somewhere? or anything. Everything okay here, guys? Yeah, uh, yeah we're good. Um, Thank you. We can get the bill. Sounds good, I'll be back with Thank you. Anything goes wrong, whether we're in a fight, 
or Ricky is sick or anything, I'm the one who sleeps on the couch. Because Ricky, I never storm away. I no, even either. when you're sick though, like normally, like if you're sick, like you should go to the couch and not be like sick in the bedroom. But yeah, I had bunk beds in my dad's house growing up, but I would only stay there like every, on the weekends, every second weekend. I was just trying to say before you rudely said that you hate everything about me. What? Is that... <laughs> I never said that. Is that I was saying you sweat a lot in your sleep and why separate beds would be nice is because I'll like roll over and the bed will be wet and Damn. I can't sleep on a wet bed. Do you see this comment? What? See what it said? Filthine? Bedroom's more quarantined for sickness though. I'm just used to like like uh, growing up if my dad was ever sick he'd go sleep in the guest room like not in the bedroom wait, wait. in the guest what room the guest room the guest which room what's the other part of the what the guest bedroom <laughs> but you leave you leave the primary bed source but he didn't leave into the kitchen um he well sometimes if, he, if he's having like an upset stomach or something, he'll go sleep on the couch. In the living room? He goes and sleeps Does on the he? couch, yeah. That's different to the G bedroom. <laughs> Ricky G's weaponizing us for their arguments. Snippy and snappy. Here's a question. How do you guys feel about you bickering being stream uncomfortable or getting used to it? So to me it's not bickering. To me this is Who just conversations. That? I think it's like being Maltese, which if you're like Italian, like Italian, Mediterranean, like Greek people probably have a similar culture, Greek, Maltese, Italians. It's like, this is how you talk. You go back and forth and you like, you, you snap back and forth. And this is literally just how conversations are. It's not, it's not bickering to me. I didn't like It's like conversing, stream, but I don't think it's bickering. I don't think it's bickering. I think it's just like having a conversation. It's like having a spirited discussion. To me, it's a spirited, a sea chocolate shake, passionate discussion. Right, here's the bill for you guys. Thank you. Get yeah. the blooming onion taken off. So. Oh, thanks right, so thank much. You. Appreciate you. Should we tip him extra now? Should we hit him at the 25? Oh. It's not bickering, GB. But see, like, I've literally never heard the word bickering until these streams. I mean, it's definitely bickering. But I've never heard the word bickering until these streams. Stop adding? No, it's okay. Tip him good, yeah. We, to we me, this is literally just conversations. But, like, Rick, you see, okay, when you come to my family's house for Thanksgiving. <laughs> I say, why is the onion taken off? Um, when you come to my family's house. like that? When you come to my family's house for Thanksgiving, though, like, you see how my whole family talks to each other. It's spirited and passionate and back and forth and like bah, 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 bah. like that's how that's how these cultures are it's a cultural trait mm -hmm. and no one holds on to it after like I don't think twice about any of this yeah that's what I want she comes in Hot and forgets fast. Well, yeah, because like this Whereas is just. I come in slow and never forget. <laughs> but see, like to me, this is just like a normal conversation, and I'm not holding any resentment or anger over it. It's like, oh, we're just like discussing, and then I move on. Like we don't, we don't hold on to things. It's just like, haha, boom, 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 poke, 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 done. It's over. Billy, Billy had to answer filth thing because you disregarded him. What? Chocolate shake, same with Hispanics, we just get louder. Yeah. That's like, that's like, in a Maltese or Italian house, you know, it's like, people who aren't from that culture will be like, why is everyone yelling at each other? And it's like, no, no one's yelling, they're just talking loudly. They say opposites attract. And you'll be in like four different conversations at once. Like we'll be talking to these people over here. I'll start interjecting into their conversation while we're talking. But then you got to start yelling over this one. And you're just like everybody's like you're in like four different conversations all at the same time. And you just got to get louder and louder. And none of it's bickering. It's just being passionate. 
Yeah. Guys, okay. seeing as we're mukbang content creators right now, um, did anyone watch the Nick Kikado avocado thing? Kiss? No. Can I kiss you? No, Chuck, you want? Hey, I'm a shark. We shrimp. need a couple more minutes with the check. No, no, no that's good. Thank you. Oh my god, I just started doing a shark voice right when he walked up. That was so embarrassing. What does the Outback Shark think? He's being really quiet. Hey. I'm a shark. I'm trying to. I'm trying to kiss old Rick. I miss my Aussie brother Rick. Let me get a big old wet kiss. Let me get a yeah. big old. Why won't you kiss Sharky? He just wants love. They say you surprised with the Du Bois progress. Yes, I am. To gain, what are we even up to? Like 35k? I don't even remember now. Niece is worried that they're gonna hit 45.2k. Shut up. Is that the number? Chat up. 39! We're gonna hit it! Let me check, <laughs> let me check the number that we're trying to hit. Let me just double check real quick. <laughs> see if you guys can catch on. My goal for Du Bois is to get it to 45.4k subs. <laughs> <laughs> Do we know why? 45.4. It doesn't even come up when I write the boys, it's just minions. I gotta write it's the <coughs> A rough boys. name for searchability. What can you do? Well, or not everyone's name is Janice Spiteri. Some people are called Jane Doe. Alright, here's that bill Great, for thank you. you. Guys. You're welcome. You guys enjoy your night. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. When you search it's Du Bois, it doesn't come up. Wait, wait. Let me find it. No. Okay. I'm trying to cover that. Okay. Thank you for saying that. All I need was an explanation and not just I, thought was, I thought you were saying something else. What? <laughs> it's okay. Wait, is this the thing? You gotta sign the other one. What? Oh. Should I get my points for it? No. Are we ever gonna come back yet? Yes. You come back to What, for the next now. time I need to make content? Which one? This one? Okay, 15 bucks is 23%. So should we go 16? 17? It's $54.74. What? The total. What would you ask us? 20, we'll give him 20, we'll give him 25. Uh, Is it 17? Whoa, you don't need to give 25. With the onion. Yeah. That's the game. No, he no, He gave no. us free onion and we tip higher. Yes. So you, How would the people? You, so you tip what the total would have been. I would have done 20, so let's do 25. Oh, percent. Yes. I thought you were saying you would give him $25. I was like, what the? 20 bucks for live streaming. Okay, they are. They, they think I'm saying 20 as well. But what's the percent if it's 20? That's that's like 30. No, look, you just do this, Ricky. Ricky, add on this. 12 to that is 66. So 660 is 10 percent. So so 12, 13, 20 would have been 20 percent of the full price. Wait, what? Yeah. Wait, what? No, oh, 20 no, would have been 33 percent no 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 they did the percentages with that included okay so we'll just go 17 dollars well no no no. so they're saying 22 percent is this 25 percent of 54 is 30.5 tip 22 percent that would have been the onion yeah so they did these tip amounts with the onion because okay, look so they did just... gross amount they did the tip based on the gross amount okay so what are we gonna do 17 it's like no, 25? 15 bucks. It's over 22 percent. Let's go for 17. 15 is over 22. Ricky, yeah, we're I'm going for 25. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's fine. You can give it more. I'm just, I'm telling you, these percentages were based I understand. on what the whole price was. I understand that. Got the calculator out. Twenty six percent. Okay, so I think isn't you did that good. good? Yeah. Okay.
Okay. I got my card back. Sixteen ninety nine. No. Good memory, Jackal. What do you think of ninety nine ninety five? Nine hundred ninety nine and ninety nine cents. What about it? You like that? I think it's disgusting. You think if it costs a thousand dollars, be a man and say yeah. it's a thousand dollars. Yeah, because it's a psychological thing to make sales. Are we gonna do that little shark here? Are we gonna put him on our fireplace? Yeah. Do I use IRL toolkit? No, I don't actually. I basically run my own OBS cloud server inside my house, if that makes sense. So the IRL setup goes to the cloud, which is my house. <clears throat> Kiss. Is the boys a co-op? Cooperate? Uh, no, it has owners and we are just all owners. A cooperative? Oh, cooperate? I think it's meant to say cooperative. Interesting, um, yeah, Mitch, I was gonna make a video about it eventually. A lot of people ask me about my setup. Yeah, it's an LLC where we, that we own. Dang, I missed your bits. Sorry, dog. Dang, they said make it 20. My bad. Well, I was locked in. Can I change it now? I think it's okay. You have three dollars? I gotta ob oblige. But now I'm gonna make a mess on the other. <laughs> they said as well, alright. <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, thank you for the passing that along to the lovely server. Because we are live streaming, so I feel like we should tip more than normal. That's true. That is true. Mm -hmm. Did you enjoy the meal? Mm -hmm. Did you have a nice experience? Mm -hmm. That's nice. Order another drink for Denise. Nice, thanks. I work in service industry, tips of life. Yeah, yeah, my bad. I would have done it, I just didn't see until then. Um, what they say too is to leave cash tips so they don't get taxed on Yeah, they said that earlier in the chat. The drink is wearing off. So you enjoyed your experience? Yeah. You had I a nice really meal? I really enjoyed experiencing your Australian culture. I feel like we really got a good culture. Is experience. tipping a thing in Australia? No. So it's weird that it's you an Outback. You know what's funny is that I feel like they could have gone a lot harder with the branding of Outback Steakhouse. Like it's supposed to be Outback, right? They should have done a TGI Friday style where there's just like stuff all over the walls. Like they should literally have like But they don't know Australia, so they don't know what to like put that. there. But they put like just random like random like uh um hey i wasn't putting back in because he's dirty now um random what's it called like stock photos like they should have like like a, a, a knife and a lasso and it, it uh, is that what hat. australia is yeah i don't know they should just put a bunch Australia's of like just a joke to you yeah tchotchkes all over the walls like it's not really themed like look at that whole empty wall over there thoughts on paul hogan legend you know who paul hogan is paul hogan the, the actor that played Crocodile Dundee. We haven't heard a single Australian song the whole time we've been in here. Australia isn't a real place? Yeah, that's why this is so wrong. It's because it's so mysterious. They've played no Australian music. Yeah, the stream is so far from live. It's good. Dang. Right before it kissed you. Mm hmm. So you had a nice meal? Mm-hmm. Thanks, baby. No worries. Kylie Minogue, yeah. <laughs> would I say this place feels upside down? Yes, I would say it's upside down. Paul well, Hogan did a fun little movie called Almost an Angel. Did I order some shrimp on the barbie? We didn't actually. We got no shrimp on the barbie. But neither have I ever ordered in in Australia in my whole life. You ever get a Tim Tam brownie in Australia? No. Nah. Brownie is American thing. Brownie, love a cake, whatever that you're was. You're hurting your wrist. Is an American thing. Baby, look, you're hurting your wrist. Oh, look. Yeah. Just don't hurt yourself for the stream. Men at Work is Aussie Band? Yes. Very famous song. 
they got sued somewhat recently within the last 10 years they got sued by this uh other australian artist the artist is dead but the family sued them even worse and it was saying kookaburra sits on the old gum tree they were saying that is um they were saying the melody is the same you could google men at work court case sign and there's like a comparison on youtube but it was pretty sad because they they won the kookaburra sits on the old gum tree won and they had to pay back like so much royalties or whatever but what's funny is the reason the court case began is because a Australian game show <laughs> an Australian game show said something that compared the two songs together and then the, and then, someone's like, oh, whoa, then the family of that song go oh shit they copied us whoa. Uh, King Gizzard playing tomorrow in CO Colorado really so the guy that the singer the guitarist Ambrose Ambrose Kenny Smith I believe is his name he actually used to skate and me and him skated in Melbourne Australia yeah, growing up really? together yeah I went in the under 12 division comp at Northgate skate park and I thought I was a shoe in to win I did a little crook down the hubba from five the rail I was shredding then he come up switch crook the hubba switch I'm like damn switch I can't hit that switch and then he came first yeah i'm not i'm i'm not lying that was true he came up. first he follows me on instagram he, he watches my Wait, story what? kind of often Let's go see i mean like show. i haven't talked to him since he was in the skate world yeah you should go see a show hit him up if he plays in town be like hey you want to catch a skate sesh while you guys are playing out here yeah i mean like when i knew him it was before music instagram burst is his name We just looked at his Instagram. He posted a story of some guy playing guitar. Hit him up for real. I love Ambrose. Yeah, I wonder if he remembers that. If he remembers the switch crook. Because I certainly do. Because as a kid, I didn't do switch rail tricks yet. Because like I said, under 12. We're both under 12. King is in Lizard Wizard, yes. I missed the cool part of the stream, apparently. I've been lurking since the donations were dropped off. What is the cool part? now eating a blue and onion i like that the shark is hollow so you can put stuff in his mouth how was the food what are you gonna put in there uh the food was pretty good is that the acceptable answer you missed the bickering there's no bickering it wasn't bickering it was just having a spirited discussion a spirited discussion but like would you rather watch a stream of people literally just not talking at all what about having fun together? We do have fun. This is wasn't this fun? Yeah. Oh, my finger is stuck. Switch barrel flips are saying. I pissed a lot of people off when I played skate against them. Yeah, I mean, if you did a switch and nollie barrel flip, you'd probably get me on a letter. Especially nollie. Oh. Oh. Ambrose has a lot of solo projects. Got shark teeth marks. Shark bit back. Denise is married to the Outback. I saw you guys walking through the donation store. Yeah, so we donated our clothes and then went in the store. I donated all my Braille clothes. But the sound has been muted. The very start was all the Braille. I got all the Braille stuff out of my closet and donated it. Nolly Big Flips. Yeah, you get me on a letter with Nolly Big Flip. With a shark swim. Don't be ridiculous, you will destroy them in skate. What is up, McSick? Welcome in. Came at just the right time. Looks fun in there, there's all random stuff. Yeah, the TTS was popping in there. You love me? Yeah. You touch my bun? Yeah. You love me? Very nice. Is that. Have we come to the end of our journey? Yeah, I think maybe we can go back and see the Braille stuff. Maybe I won't stream, I'll just go on my own time and see if I see any. Okay, tomorrow, guys, maybe going to Garrett Jenner's house. Maybe, maybe not. I probably need to figure that out. What's the time? Eight, Eight already? Oh, time to get in bed and watch a movie. Huh? Time to get in bed and watch a movie. Together. What movie? My favorite what movie, movie is Lion King, Finding Nemo, 
Spirited Away, um, Inside Out 2, uh, Monsters Inc. Um, animated movies. <laughs> Why are you lying to the people? Because <laughs> they, I'm not lying. They know. Dolphins swim like this. Tarzan, yes. Swim like this. Um, Pocahontas, is that one still in 2024? Do I like Nicolas Cage? Yes, best Nicolas Cage movie, absolute banging movie, is um, Leaving Las Vegas. No, Leaving Las Vegas, banging film, adult themes, be warned. JD is not allowed to watch that one. <laughs> Land Before Time, aww. That was my favorite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jurassic Park. Unbearable weight of massive talent. Raising Arizona is good. Nicholas Cage movie. All right, should we wrap it up? Yeah. Nicholas Cage did a Five Nights at Freddy's movie where he didn't speak a single word. Face off, I don't know what that is. Should we? Alright, we're gonna end now. Should we raid into Young Elderberry doing the subathon? Hmm. She's awake. Subathon day two. Oh, well, look, oh, one day, four awake. hours. Huh? Yeah, I forgot. Look, she's watching Lego Star Wars. Roblox? Six hours left. Roblox. Look, 1,124 subs. You play Roblox. That is crazy. Alright, we're gonna raid into Yeb, as they say. But yeah, this was fun, guys. Hopefully, we can skate again soon. Tomorrow, I'll figure out what's gonna happen. Maybe driving stream or Garajina stream. Hopefully, he indulges me. And lets me know if I can attend his fine house and take a nice tour. Guys, take care, enjoy your night. Um, young Elderberry, like that, right? Alright, bye everyone. Bye.